evening everyone, how are you guys doing? Today we are driving out of Paris, so we're still at the hotel right now with all the cars lined up. We have the GT3 RS with Baxter on the back, James's GT3, they're all lined up and we are just getting ready to depart. Today we're heading to London and it's our final day of the whole adventure. That's including Gumball, the Galag sort of drive back, it's all ending today. So sad times but also kind of exciting because we need to give our bodies a rest, basically, so I should probably get into the car now, because it seems people are departing. Here we go, guys. We are leaving Paris, and I am back in the car with Sam. Yellow. And the Batmobile is, whoa, very close to the Porsche. Paris is pretty special. Look at that. That's the Arc de Triomphe. We are driving down the Champs-Elysees, it's called. We've got the Batmobile right behind us, followed by the GT3. This is a cool way to be cruising out of this city. Wow, where we were, that is pretty special. Lovely shot of trucks. We have a little bit of an issue. James is not feeling well at all. He's feeling very ill, which is probably due to exhaustion, seeing as we're not sleeping much and driving quite a bit. So he stopped and we decided just to stop with him. The others continued, but we stopped alongside literally just right now. We're gonna try and keep going. Guess where we are? We are at the Euro Tunnel, which means tradition is that when you come to the Euro Tunnel, you get a Burger King. So that's exactly what we're doing. You can spot us because Gala jackets. We are boarding the Euro Tunnel, but slightly worried about the width of the Batmobile. What do you think about this whole situation? Uh, I don't want to go in there. Not like that. Yeah, that's a narrow one. It's going to be a tricky one. So, we're just going out the other side. I don't know what the plan is, but that seems to be what we're doing. Here we go, we're entering. We are getting into the train. This is pretty intense. There's not much space on either side of the back of it. All the wheels, kind of scary. On the train now, I think we're all going to get some editing done before we arrive uh, at the next stop, which will be Folkestone. And then we're cruising up towards London. I think there may be another stop at the studio or something. I'm not too sure if we're going to do that. But yeah, we're just sort of also looking at James because James doesn't feel too well. Um, so yeah, at least we made it onto the train. All the cars are fit. Now the next stop is England. We are about to exit the Euro Tunnel. We have arrived in England and it's beautiful sunny weather by the looks of things. And I am checking on my phone because, oh, I am about to hit 100,000 subscribers. I will be back when I do. I'm just going to wait here with my camera. Hey! 100,000! 101. Guys, I want to say a massive thank you to you all for all of the support and a hundred thousand I can't believe it last time I did Gumball last year I was getting about 300 views per video and had like 6,000 subscribers so this is mad that it's it's doing this I can't even believe it like yeah I don't even know what to say but just thank you so 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 much and I promise the content will keep coming it's gonna get better we have loads of amazing things planned and I'm just so excited so thanks again now let's continue on to London we have been freed from the train and here we go now onwards to the next petrol station where we are going to stop. I will never be able to get used to how this thing looks on the road. It's just it's out of this world. Because I just hit 100k, Salty Walty over here has just decided to take me for a little spin in the Batmobile, which I have not been out in yet. Thank you very much for this. This is going to be exciting. Anyways, to show you how to get up. Oh, my phone's just gone down my jeans because I have a hole. You step on here. Then up on there, and then in the middle over there, don't you? And then jump in. So I'm going to attempt that now, but I'm going to have to switch the camera off or else I'm going to spill stuff everywhere. Right. Okay, we're in. We are in, and this is quite the view. It's a little dirty, so... It is a little dirty, isn't it? This is unreal. Is this thing easy to drive? It's actually surprisingly easy. Yeah. Wow. Surprising. This is madness. you got the cameras there. Up there, and on the other side. How amazing! Just waiting for these guys. Baxter, still chilling on the back of the Porsche. Balling hard, as per usual. So it's kind of funky, because this is based on a Gallardo, isn't it? Yep. So there are a bunch of like little Gallardo things lying around, like the rev counter, the steering wheels off the Gallardo. This is unreal. It's really nice and spacious, though. It's much more comfortable than the Lotus. Much more comfortable. There's the Porsche. So all these crazy buttons around, for example, this, 
It's just for that light right there. <laughs> that light is so sick. And then you've got loads of buttons down here. You've got battle mode, which makes all the lights go red. Noise flash. What's flash? Lights are the lights start flashing. Oh, that's so... Intentionally, not unintentionally. Yeah, intentionally. Here we go then, straight onto the motorway. And I'm surprised by how normal this... I mean, it doesn't feel, look normal, but in terms of... It feels normal. Yeah, it feels normal. It's crazy. Man, these wheel arches are just out of this world. And it sounds like a guy had them. Do you notice the valves open and then it gets louder? But in terms of suspension and everything, it's very similar to the Gallardo. But man, it is a big car, you can feel that it's wide. Oh, this is so cool! We're in a Batmobile! Wow! And it's beautiful weather as well. Check that out. If you're wondering where this car was built and stuff, there's your answer. We're having to navigate through London now. Uh, and London, well, coming into London, there are a lot of really narrow streets. So we're literally having to stop and go so slowly every about two minutes. Um, it's pretty intense, but we're getting close. I think we're going to stop off at a stop at a studio or something. Right? Rocksteady Studios, the makers of the Arkham games. Exactly. They wanted so they, to see it. Exactly. So they made a game with a car similar to this, and they want to see this one. So yeah, that's going to be pretty fun. And then back to the hotel in London. But so far this driver's been insane. Thank you so much for this. 100,000 subscriber celebration. Check. Uh, the Batmobile in London seems to get a bit of attention. People are taking photos. <laughs> We're just trying to cruise along to the studio. But people are following us on motorbikes. It's pretty mad. Look at all this stuff. We made it to the studio, haven't we? So now it's time to get out. We press this button, correct? Yep. And push. Now we're out. Causing a bit of a stir then. And these guys built, it took them a year and a half to build the car that was in the video game that this was based on. So it must be weird for them to see it, but they've all come out to take photos, sit inside it. It's pretty cool. We have departed the studio, haven't we? They liked it. It they, was. <laughs> they freaked out. I have to hold the camera at this angle because, or else it just doesn't work at the Batmobile. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are back Batmobile filming tips, guys, for if ever you need to film in a Batmobile. Um, so yeah, we are now heading over to our hotel. It was amazing to be able to go into the studio and we sort of got to look around a bit. It was absolutely unbelievable. The guys there were so friendly. So we're now just cruising back through Camden we are in now, I think, in London. And still people are freaking out. But yeah, we're heading back to the hotel. We're going to get our bags and then I'm heading to the place I am staying tonight. So yeah, pretty cool to cruise around in uh, in the Matmobile and I'm still in shock about 100k as well. It seems that we have not made a discreet arrival into London, have we? Nope. I think people have noticed we're here. Thank you, Google Maps. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Google Oxford Maps. Oxford Circus. We're arriving, the other cars are parked up already. We're going to find somewhere to park. Where the fuck do you park a Batmobile? <laughs> now that, that right there, that is a question. I don't know. On a single yellow line? <laughs> single yellow. Single yellow. I actually haven't ended my vlog yet. Genuinely. Hit him with, hit him with the end. Oh, Give him an outro. There we go, an outro. I am in a lift somewhere in London, um, and we <laughs> dropped the Batmobile off, and somehow I've ended back here, and we're Cal, you chose off in the mirror. And we're about to go to bed, aren't we? We so, sure are. Thank you for watching, please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers! Yay! Bye. Everything should go smoothly today. The weather is not brilliant, it's raining, so you're not gonna see any crazy driving from us, um, but it should be a pretty beautiful drive. I think we've got about a two hour, a two hour and a half drive to our lunch stop and then another two and a half hours to go up to Paris. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. Just pulled out of the hotel driveway. Yes, Sam. Hello. You're going to be seeing a bunch of him today. Uh, this is my first time in a GT3. Oh, and this one has sharp work.